All right, here with my longtime friend, Tom File. Look at the traps on this guy. Turn around, let's see him from the back. Oh, good too. Lord. Oh, yeah. All right. Look at that slingshot logo is completely stretched. Look at these things. Tom's going to show you a little bit on how he built them up. He obviously built them up with heavy squats, heavy deadlifts, heavy bench pressing, but you also want to target them directly, right? Absolutely. And today we'll finish off the back routine with, um, I'll run the rock with dumbbells. Start with the 40s, run it up to the 140s, and uh, stop right there. Six, eight sets total, 15, 18 reps, something like that. And uh, that's it, just finish them off, pump some blood mm -hmm. into my traps. Ladies and gentlemen, this build did not happen by accident. Built no, it did of, not. Built off the heels of McDonald's, In-N-Out Burger, and whatever other fast food place you can fill in the blanks. I think lattes with caramel sauce on them. Caramel frappuccino. Caramel frappuccino. 720 completely empty calories. I don't know how to say it, but he's very proud of it. Mm. Anyway, enjoy the video. You're gonna learn how to grow some big traps. do is kind of run the rack. I started at the 40s, I'll make 20 pound jumps. So 40s, 60s, 80s, 100s, 120s, 140s, and that's it. And of course if I was in, if I was in powerlifting prep, I'd start with the, the 100s, go right to the 150s, and just do something like uh, five sets of 10 reps with the 150s. That's part of my uh, deadlift routine. And that's pretty much what's responsible for my trap development over the years. You You're welcome, Tommy. Since we're kind of in an off-season or bodybuilding mindset, I'll try and move a little faster than if I was strictly moving the 150s or something heavier. And as I, I probably don't need to say this, but my breathing is always problematic. But don't worry, I'll make it through the routine. Um, folks for the time on your heaviest shrugs definitely go ahead and use straps my opinion um, your grip strength no matter how good it is can never match all the pulling power of your traps especially if you're in contest prep mode or competition prep mode when you're pulling 600 or something really heavy for reps your pulling power will always exceed your grip strength so straps are fine you're not cheating if you use straps on your heaviest shrugs. Catch my breath, which is easier said than done. And then just one last set, 15 reps with the 140s. And that's it for shrugs. And of course, when I'm big and strong, I move a whole lot slower. I try to use a little bit more weight.
12 reps. The range of motion was really minimal. So I stopped at 12. And that's how I finish back day during the off season or bodybuilding. Thanks for your time.